I've lost a lot of fine works. I mean, I've done a lot of events, ballets that are gone. A lot of short ones that are gone. You know, like they say, we've done 400 pieces, but how many do we have on record? How many? Certainly not many. I'm Alice Reyes. I am a national artist for dance. my Filipino works, the reviewers spoke that way, but I would never claim to be the Filipino. <laughs> Everybody has their own. I mean, Agnes's works is very Agnes. She terms as a neo-ethnic. I have a lot of folk dances in me because that's where I started. I think we were the first to uh, establish that, that genre of Filipino dance that was not a direct folk production. It's a living art. It's not like a painting. It's a living art. So you're working with different bodies. The body of, of Nonoy Foylan was fantastic. His talent was fantastic. But then I'm working with uh, Richard. I was working with EJ and uh, Nelson for Rama, ibang katawan nila. Plus dancers kasi, if you were to dance a piece that I had choreographed for somebody two inches taller than you, iba yung sayo mo. That's a, a, a very interesting aspect too for a creative uh, activity for me. I did ask, for instance, uh, Ryan if he was going to change music and any note. And he said, Hindi pwede because nakasulat na yan, na, 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 na take na, hindi na pwede palitan. So, iba yung approach na mu na mu from the musical point of view than from a choreographic point of view. But there are choreographers who don't change a thing. Once it's done, it's done. collaborative. There are some people, okay, this is, this is something that, that I know of myself. There are some dancers that when I'm starting to work on a piece, I will work on, with those dancers and their bodies. I'm just more comfortable working with this. I, I, I'm, it's, easy, it's an easier process for me to work with two or three people than with others. And when I've worked out movements and steps and combinations with those bodies, then I can start the work. I have to like the people. <laughs> I have to admire their works. <laughs> and they have to be collaborative. And, and they have to like the idea of working with me. <laughs> I think that's where it all comes from. If, if somebody 
is not interested to work with you, then you know that's it. You can't go anywhere there. So basically, that that is the the, the beginnings of any successful um, work. Now that I'm in my 80s and not able to go down on the floor and do things, I I've um, noticed that I am more dependent than now on people on my dancers helping me out trying steps themselves because I can't go down to the floor, you know, for instance. But I, I but I know what I want. So I would say that's it or no, we'll have to try another thing. So it, it really changes. I think the I think choreographic procedures change in time with everybody. Or it should. I normally challenged myself to do something I had never done before. Because I thought you can't keep doing the same thing. There's no fun, you get bored and you get stale. Because you know, I'm, I'm always going for perfection. So if I see something that does not work and I, I have another idea, let's try the idea. You know. I feel that the aim is always to do, to do it as well as we can. Uh, and I'm happy to be able to restage pieces like Ramahari or Tales of the Manubu because I can go into the piece to improve it where I think it can be improved. Very nice, thank you. You know, when, when I choreographed things, but I don't remember the circumstances, but maybe there was pressure of, in, of time. You know, you had two weeks or three weeks. Uh, so you just had to get the, the job done. And again, the curtains have to rise. And this is, this is as good as I could get the piece. Going back 20 years later, 30 years later, 40 years later, I see, oh, I can tell, I can tighten the storytelling here. I can make, uh, I can change that movement because it doesn't add to the storytelling or it's not a natural thing. Why would you do that? This is what they should do. Ganon. So I'm thankful for the opportunity to go back and revisit and see where I can improve it. And that's not because I'm a national artist. I would do the same if I were. Because it's the joy of going for perfection. I grew up in a home full of music and dance songs. Uh, I always danced. I mean, I thought everybody did too. <laughs> so I was doing two, two or three shows a week, along with studying. Yeah, so that's why, that's why it was like dance was always part of my life. It was, it was never a conscious decision that I'm going to dance. <laughs> It was only when this American diplomat said, Alice, I have uh, a scholarship 
that, that can be extended to you for a summer uh, with Hanya Home in Colorado Springs. Hanya Home is one of the pioneers of modern dance in America. She's German and she brought this in. And I said, mm, why not, you know? Uh, so I, I did go there and that's when I guess I made the decision, I might as well accept the fact that I'm going to be in dance. I'm a dancer and I choreograph. I don't look back. <laughs> that's a, that's, yes, for instance, I never kept, I never kept albums. I have albums put together by my father and my sister who lived in New Jersey and got pictures sent to her by my father. So that I had, I have uh, albums done by my father who compiled everything and my sister, but I never really, I was always going forward. And now I, I mean, I've had times when I wish I had kept some stuff. Um, they, you know, you always have a bounty full of emotions, and I realize I'm very good at keeping only the good, happy ones. <laughs> yeah, I do. Maybe that's why I, I'm a happy person. I don't hang on to all the hard stuff and the and the not-so-pleasant stuff, of which there were plenty, plenty, plenty. You know, I'm okay. You just go on. I enjoy working with dancers and singers and musicians in the same way that I enjoy working with uh, the artisans and the factory workers. I mean, I realize that I have as much joy um, so I guess I like working with people. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, good morning, Alice. Wow, ang dami ng pusa. I don't really think of myself as a businesswoman because my, my work at Quisara was, was for me a payback. And the result of a deep, uh, admiration for Filipino craftsmen. I was always proud of our artisans. I mean, they could carve, they could, they could bang out metal, and suddenly it's wow, it's fantastic. So that that's, that's really my the source of my having started Kisara. It was never really we're gonna make millions. I mean, be nice <laughs> because again, if we make millions, it's all, it's all divided, so everybody knows that. So my incentive there, no, and. The, and I hope they take pride in, in what we produce at Quisara in the same way that the dancers of Alice Reyes Dance Philippines, I know, take pride in what they're producing with, them, with their bodies and together on stage. I'm quite hands-on. I mean, it's, it's a background in, in theater. If, you, if you're not hands-on in, in theater, it will show. I mean, you know, detail is very, very important. Precision. When, how, you know, how many? When today? When next week? When is a due date? When? Because the curtains rise when it's stated opening day is. I, as a teacher, I think I'm a teacher still. I choreograph, I mentor. But when you ask me at any other time, I will tell you I am a nanai. I like to be nana. I like that word. <laughs> and so that's what I am to this new young company I am supporting. Uh, it's the Alice Reyes Dance Philippines.
there's so much um, work to do for this young company. We don't have um, a sugar daddy or a sugar mommy. We have a hardworking board and we have a lot of, of really wonderful people who love the company and who have given the company their time, their, their, their ideas, their thoughts and support. So we are blessed that way. I think the most important part about this company is that the choreographers have entrusted this company with the best of Filipino works. New works are always being done. There, there, are, there are a lot of choreographers being trained, developing, and producing. And that's exciting. But there, that's a, a real treasure of uh, the old ones that should be preserved. And you know, it doesn't have to be Alice Reyes Dance Philippines. It can just be Dance Philippines or somebody else, you know. But this is the company that has been given the right to stage some of the masterpieces of Filipino dance. I think it's very important to create, to keep creating, yes. In fact, I, when I tell some of the younger choreographers when I first came back in 2017, I, you don't have to make the national statement on dance. Just do something smaller first where, you know, you're testing yourself, you're, you're taking the, the, the natural composition uh, techniques, um, polishing them and so forth before you make the big statement of your career. I think that's, that's what art does. Anything that makes somebody respond with a new thought, a new pers perspective, uh, it can give you joy to make this thing. I have, I, I want everybody who's going to dance it for the first time to break a leg, toy, 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 have a real good time. It's, uh, I think the audience last night was so responsive. There were people who did not want to stand from their seats because gusto ko pa, gusto ko pa. And then some were really teary-eyed. Pag salita sa akin, para nahihiya sila kasi umiiyak pa sila. <laughs> Di ba nakakatawa yun? So, punuin ng puso nyo ng ganon, no? Punuin nyo ang puso nyo. And really, the youngest kids here in this group are wonderful. I am so proud of you. Please. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, and I hope you all find it to be a valuable experience. And we're also very thankful to have all our guest singers who are here or not. Thank you.